right, Taurus, welcome to your love connection reading for the month of February. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Taurus, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if you have that in your placements. And this has to be actual connection you believe you have with somebody. You have to actually know each other, whether you're together or not. It doesn't matter. We'll see if we can tap into your energies here. So we're going to look at, uh, first thing we're going to do is pull a Zodiac card so we could get a sign, element, or planet. Um, see who some of you may be dealing with. If you don't resonate with that part, totally fine. We'll get an overall uh, love connection energy between the two of you. And then I'm going to pull two sides. I'm going to put one side as you, one side as them, how you're looking at each other, feeling about each other, the connection. And then with the tarot, we'll look at those energies. We'll clarify them more, look at the actual situation. And then we'll look at um, advice for your connection, a possible outcome of the connection. And we'll get some closing messages with this oracle over here. So in case you're new and you're not sure how this reading goes, I just wanted to uh, give a little insight on that. So welcome, Taurus. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday season. Hope you're having a happy new year. So let's see what's going on for Taurus at this time. I do say at this time, so I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past uh, readings, your links to your playlists are down below in the description box, general and love readings. And um, also down there, uh, a lot of stuff, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. If you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift, all that is below. And I'll also pin some of that information to the top comments. So let's see what we have here for Taurus. Your energy. So you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. So you get three options there for an ear sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And ear is all about the mind. It's all about uh, clarity, ideas, truth, um, communication. And that kind of energy so it's all about the mind and communication all right so let's see let's see what's going on with taurus at this time let's pull one for the overall connection love energy connection between you and your person whoever you have in mind at this time and again, if you're not dealing with an air sign or they could have it in their chart somewhere, it could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus also. All right. So let's see what the overall love connection energy is like at this time for Taurus and whoever they are thinking of. So we have replenish here, which is 31, which is four. This is really reminding me of the four swords energy. Um, it's about retreating, um, going off alone, and resting, rejuvenating, healing, thinking, contemplating kind of energy, needing to rest and replenish. Do see here, see like, uh, it's almost like she's dreaming, and you have like all these scenes here. Um, you have a man carrying a woman through water, you have this little boat here going through turbulent waters um, then you have like angels here you see some people in combat here so there's a lot of energy here so somebody could be having a lot of dreams at this time for some reason hmm. it may could be about your person or it could just be just dreams dreams in general it doesn't necessarily have to be about your person um, that card is really like vibrant like the colors like really popping out to me so if it's not you it could you be your person maybe they're very intuitive connected to source you could have even had past lives with this person and maybe you or them are dreaming of all these different things in different eras of time and they're not understanding uh why it could be that maybe you have had past lives together and they're dreaming of those lives because you see a lot of different energy here Wow, okay. So, and that air energy is all about the mind. So, all right. So, let's see. Wow. Okay, I'm going to take these two. So, I'm going to call Aquarius the shoe. This is your person. Let's see. Or, or if you feel like any time throughout this reading, the energies need to be switched. 
or vice versa, you do that anytime you see fit and only take what resonates. This may or may not be for you. So I'm going to call the side uh, you Taurus. So we have flow, which is eight here. And eights are about action, travel, communication, and something here about being in flow, going with the flow, letting things unfold naturally. So I feel like you're wanting things just to be like calm, gentle, and easy with your person. You just want things to flow naturally, to go naturally. Just let the emotions and feelings and things just flow. Like come out in the open also too with that honest communication. Just let all the feelings and communication flow like effortlessly, fluidly, and easy. And your person over here has release. So... And five is about change. So, and this is almost kind of reminding me of the tower card. So, I feel like your person, if they've been holding back, they may need now to feel that energy of like wanting to just release everything. Or it could be you want your person to be more in the flow of things. And maybe your person sees you as somebody who just needs to release um, how they're truly feeling, their emotions, their energy. Just let it out, let it go, let it release it. Or this person is seriously thinking about releasing you and going off on their own here and thinking and contemplating about this connection. So a lot of different energies there. So uh, as you see these cards, you take them how they resonate for you. So, all right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have growth, which is 15, which is six, which is about going into a, a more healing balanced place and growth here. So I feel like there needs to be um, expansion between the two of you. There needs to be learning and growing and balance and uh, grounding energy. I feel like between the two of you, I feel like, I feel like a lot of conflicting energies here. Wow. Okay. <sighs> I just had, you know, mind, I just heard mind games. So I don't know if somebody's playing mind games with, with uh, somebody here. Also a lot of different messages. So take only what resonates for you. All right. So. All right, let's see what's going on here. Wow, a lot of different energies for you, Taurus. All right, let's see what's going on. I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported the channel. All my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, and thank you. Those who have tipped or donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading. Thank you, thank you so much. All your support really does mean a lot to me. Couldn't do without you guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's get... Some energy to clarify flow here. Eight of swords. Oh, mental entrapment. Blocked. Mentally blocked in your head. And the seven of swords. Wow, the seven and eight of swords here. And that's that air energy. So we're getting, getting a lot of air energy here. So, you know, this could be an energy with the seven of swords and the eight of swords of like, Feeling like, you know, this is just too much. It's just, you know, stuck in your head. Mental entrapment. And deciding maybe just to, you know, maybe you want things to just be more fluid fluid and flowing between you and your person. And it's not. So, you know, you want it to be, but you don't see how it's going to happen. It's like it's not happening. And, and it's like, I just don't know anymore. So it's kind of like you're stuck in your own head about it. So... Seven of Swords could actually be like just turning and like getting out of a situation here because you don't see the flow in it anymore. Definitely there with that Four of Swords energy, I feel. Uh, not that that is the Four of Swords, but definitely reminds me of the Four of Swords of just, you know, going off and uh, thinking, contemplating about this whole thing. So why does your person have release here? Oh, it's way too many. Release here for... So we got the Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, for some of you, this could be a marriage or a long-term commitment. And the Ten of Cups. What? 
Is this person really seriously thinking about releasing this long-term commitment and this Ten of Cups? We got two tens here. Tens are about completions, but these are the two most positive cards you can have for completion because this is like the Ten of Pentacles is like the whole legacy of a family dynamic. You know, having the family and the grandchildren and the home and the pets and the, you know, security and everything. And then the Ten of Cups is finally being in that soulmate union of happiness and joy and, you know, just living out, living your life. So... I really in that five about change here. So this person here could definitely be thinking about making a change and releasing this commitment. But you're kind of like in the same energy too of like maybe things just aren't flowing the way they used to be. So like wanting to turn your back and it's just like too much mental, like mental things going on. With all this air energy here. Wow. All right. So you get two eights here too. So, I mean, that is about walking away. Action, travel. All right. So let's see what is going on here. What is going on here for you, Taurus? Well, we got the Wheel of Fortune though. So this is better luck. Um, timing, divine timing, fate, destiny. Things going better getting better, things going in the right direction, wanting things to go in the right direction. So now we got the queen of pentacles, king or queen doesn't matter, that's your energy. I feel like you definitely want things to get better, want things to go in a better direction, want things to be more in flow, but just like, you're like, I just don't see it happening. I just don't see how it can happen. Maybe I just need to give up. And I think your person is like in the same energy also. Wow. All right, so let's see here. The three of wands. Like you're both kind of waiting on each other. Like what are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? We're just kind of like waiting it out, waiting it out, waiting on each other. You know, what? what's the deal here? What are we going to do? Knight of Swords. Could be a lot of arguments. You know, rushing, like getting it, going at each other all the time. You know, that Knight of Swords can be very harsh communication it can be rushing in it can be like the rebel reckless energy causes a lot of havoc so there could be just waiting waiting on each other what are we going to do here and then, in the meanwhile there's like a lot of going at each other also but yet you're in this energy of wanting things to get better because you've got your energy here with the wheel of fortune so you do want things to get better or want it to get better, but you don't see how it's going to happen and you're thinking it's just not going to happen. It's just not flowing easily, I feel, for you. Judgment call, yeah. Wow, so your person here is seriously thinking about, could be about forgiveness, a resurrection of something, or making a final decision and judgment call about this connection. Yeah, so I feel like you want, definitely want things to get better. And they're like, okay, I need to make a decision. Do I want to release this? Because we're at each other all the time, yet we're not doing anything about it. We're just kind of waiting, waiting it out, waiting on each other, but yet nobody's really saying what needs to be said, especially with that air energy. I think the growth there just has to be open, honest communication is with the air energy. Talk about this. Talk about why I feel this way, that way. What's going on? How did it get to this point? You know, there needs to be that growth expansion, the stability back into this connection so things can flow in a better direction. So let's see what the advice is for this connection. Taurus. 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 Five of Cups. Sadness, loss, loneliness. Oh, okay. What else? Yeah, like you, you're ready to turn your back <laughs> on it. It's like, I just don't see. We once had the two of cups, but now, now all the other cups are all spil spilt over, you know. We did have these two cups that were once standing upright and full, but now all everything else is just uh, falling to the wayside. 
And now we got the hanged man. So again, you know, nobody really taking action. You know, and this is your advice. So the advice here is actually to think about this whole situation and gain enlightenment on how did it get to this point of the sad, hurt, loneliness kind of energy. You know, gain a new perspective. See the whole picture. What went on here through the years with this person. If this has been a long-term commitment or just a new commitment and maybe it's gone in this direction very quickly for some reason whatever your situation is if this is your story needing to really look reflect gain perspective see the whole picture think back on everything why did we get here why did this happen kind of energy maybe you need to take a little break from one another also yeah because there's a lot of fighting and arguing i feel with that knight of swords so this is spirit confirming that there's light, a lot of fighting and arguing. And two fives here. So something, big change, big, big change has to happen here if this is going to work. If not, and not willing to make that big change, then you might as well just add those two fives together to get your ten of an ending. All right, so let's get one more. Chariot. So moving forward, so I think if you're willing to make these big changes, have growth within yourselves, within the connection, moving forward, because the chariot is about moving forward with drive, ambition, victory, success, balance. You know, spirit saying that this can move forward successfully and have more balance if you both can do that inner journey soul work and gain perspective enlightenment take a break from one another if you need to for a while here getting like five days maybe some of you five weeks i don't know uh and and maybe just maybe this can move forward in a better direction if you can have that both have that inner growth within you separately then come together and have like a new uh, foundation to grow upon between the two of you. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome here. The Taurus and this connection, please. Six of Wands. So there's success and victory, accomplishment, new offer coming in. So, so this could move forward victoriously. So now we have the Page of Pentacles in the Hierophant. So for some of you who aren't committed, and this is about a situation of committing or not committing, this could turn into a commitment here. Someone could finally step up to the plate and offer something here, an engagement or solidifying a relationship. Or this is coming back, you know, more stable and grounded communication here. And doing that uh, growth, expansion, uh, grounding energy and communication. And moving forward victoriously in the commitment here and or the marriage, whatever it is for you. Because we do have your energy here, Taurus. It could be you that needs to do this work. I don't know, or your person, however, here. But the energy is here for this to work out if these changes can be made. Wow, because we have the offer here, we have the offer here. And then we have the commitment or marriage here, doing what's moral, just, and right. So the energy is here for that. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have death here. So, I mean, it doesn't have to mean this is going to come to an end. For some of you, it may. But it's also about transformation, because this just could be the ending of how things are right now. And transforming yourselves, transforming together to transform this connection into a whole new, whole new way. Yeah, abandonment, loneliness, neglect. You could be really neglecting each other right now. And that really needs to change. Because this is a soulmate union. Look at that, the lovers. This is a soulmate union. And here's temperance to say, you know, we need peace, harmony, balance, healing energy. I want to, you know bring this energy to the two of you so you we can you can have and stay in this soulmate connection 
here with the temperance angel again <laughs> holding back from one another with uh, the four of pentacles like look at how miserly he looks like being like just in that not good energy but it is soulmate union again with the two of cups two people coming into soulmate union here's justice doing what's moral just and right doing the right thing open honest communication here soulmate union temperance angel wants to bring you together having healing forgiveness peace harmony patience with one another instead of holding back from one another again soulmates here with the lovers instead of neglecting one another we, you know you can transform this if you choose to this uh connection so let's see besides libra gemini aquarius we have scorpio we have gemini we have sagittarius uh, we have Libra and then over here we have let's see Sagittarius again Virgo Taurus Capricorn Libra Gemini Aquarius Scorpio Cancer Pisces Cancer Virgo Taurus Capricorn Taurus so but we basically have all the signs here anyway again with that growth there so People need to grow up. <laughs> I don't know. It's just <laughs> need to grow up. That's just what I'm getting here. <clears throat> All right. So let's get some closing. <clears throat> Sorry. Messages here for you, Taurus. So I do ask Taurus if you're new and you like my style and how I read my energy, please check out my channel. If you like what you see, uh, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, I love to read the comments Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. I offer um, right now I'm going to be doing a biweekly uh, love general and then one bonus reading for every sign where I look at a little bit of love, a little bit of life, a little bit of advice. So if you're interested in all that, subscribe, hit the bell and you won't miss out. So let's get some closing messages here for Taurus. Okay, this one is sticking out to me. Our Lady of Comfort which is 43, which is seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So I feel like, and I had all that energy here of like neglecting each other, like holding back from one another. But now this is the energy of like really like being in a more loving, compassionate, healing, peaceful energy and just being of comfort to one another. All right, so let's see. Our Lady of the Abundant Garden. Again, 38 here, which is uh, 11, which is half of the twin flame number, but I'm not saying this is twin flame. Two, 11, two, and two is about unity and abundant garden. So there can be growth, expand, expansion, abundance between the two of you if you can transform this connection. All right, so let's get one more for you, uh, Taurus. Our Lady of Creative Choice. Gee, I don't think I ever got this card before. We have 10, 10 ending, one new beginning. So Our Lady of Creative Choice. Hmm. Look how similar, similar these cards look. So what I'm getting with this is that, and maybe you just have to approach this in a whole new way between the two of you. Make the choice to approach this because you see all the flowers here, again, with the growth expansion. Um, really thinking, digging down deep and thinking of like a whole new way, ideas, whatever here to work this out, to transform this. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Our Lady of Passion. So I definitely feel like a nine here. I definitely feel like there's a lot of passion between the two of you, definitely here. There is love, passion, soulmate energy, especially with the uh, judgment card here. We have the temperance card over there, the lovers, the two of cups. Definitely soulmate energy here, a lot of love and passion between the two of you, but something, something definitely, I think you are both at the point of giving up, but I feel that this definitely can transform if you choose actively choose to do that. And take the, those steps to do that. Whether it means going for counseling, therapy, or something here. Taking a little break and really thinking about things. Uh, it can get better if you choose to. 
All right, Taurus, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.